Hi everyone, Miss Carrie here, coming from Orange Theory today um, for my last Therapy Tip Tuesday, which I'll be talking about movement and therapy. So a lot of times we have our kids sitting at the table and that's great for structure, but today I'm gonna to switch things up a little bit and I figured this is the best place to do it. This is where I come to release some of my energy and to get in shape and to move my muscles. So movement helps get the blood pumping and not just around the body, but it includes a rush of blood flow to the brain. And this increase in oxygen energy maximizes brain performance, which leads directly to improved mood, attention, and better ability to remember what they've learned. So it's important too that helping children stay calm during movement can improve cognitive skills, reduce behavior problems, increase memory and attention abilities. So Asha says that by pairing speech sounds with movements, exercises or yoga poses, um, this is beneficial for your young learners. And if you're working on M, you can have your child march in place. Or if you're working on like the ch sound, maybe like a child's pose would be better. Um, also, so one of the things that we could do to improve carryover is incorporating these movements. So movement during learning actually helps the brain build new pathways. And motor movement during speech and language activities involves additional neural pathways in the motor activity of speech production. And this generalization and carryover can occur with these movements. So this also is very helpful for some of our kids who need a lot of OT and PT because they have a lot of low tone. So by incorporating this in their speech sessions as well can help all round carryover between all three different professions. Also, you have to remember if you're working in a school that this is a great thing to incorporate as well. You have your kids sitting in the classroom all day and it could get boring and they can have trouble sitting still and that's not great for your speech session and it's not great for carryover. So incorporate some of those movements in there and it's great for the child. You'll see more focus, you'll see more motivation. Some things I like to do in therapy for movement, I have my Crush the Cup theme. So I lay cups all over the floor and I have different therapy cards on top of it depending on what their target is. And they have to pick up the card, they could be all over the room. So that's that movement part. While it's just walking, they're out of their seat, they're moving, they're looking, they're jumping, whatever they wanna do, they could jump to the next cup. They pick up the card, they have to say the word or say the sentence, whatever level they're working at or whatever their target is. And if they get it right, they get to crush the cup. So it's fun, it's motivating, and it allows your child to get up and move while working on their goals. Um, you could tape articulation cards on the wall and have your child jump and reach and try and get that movement in that way. Um, Simon Says is a great one too. It can be overlooked because um, not a lot of kids work on following directions, but I do have a lot that do that. Um, it's great for spatial concepts like jump over or crawl under. And then also I really like puzzles too. So you could have all the puzzle pieces on one side of the room and then the actual puzzle board on the other and they have to do different activities to jump all the way to get one puzzle piece. And then you could ask them a question that they're targeting. So if they're working on shapes and you're doing a shape puzzle, you can talk to them about the shapes they have. Um, but that is all for today. This will be my last Therapy Tip Tuesday, so have a happy new year.